Hi Capricorn, welcome to your end of October 2021 General Tarot Updates. It's Raina here. Oh, I feel like there's two cards here. Oh, I don't think. I don't know if this is going to, I'm trying to let you see all the cards, but this is pretty, um, let's see. Okay. The heart of the matter is the high priestess, which is a card that can indicate that a person is, um, sensing that they don't know everything about a situation. So they're kind of like, um, it's almost like a psychic suspicion or something like that. And it can be uncomfortable when a person is like, I know that there's something going on. Um, what, you know, what is it? I don't know what it is, but I know there's something. And, um, this can be that somebody is keeping a secret from you. Maybe it is a kind of a half truth. Uh, they're saying a little bit, but they're not saying the whole thing. And um, in relationships, obviously, this is something that, that can happen um, where a person is involved with somebody else and they're not telling you. So you meet them and you think they're single or something like that, you know? And as I record this, it's on the eve of the full moon in Aries. And for Capricorns, you know, Aries is another cardinal sign. And so it's going to be, and it's ahead of you. So uh, if you think of the chart as a never ending circle, it's ahead of you, the cardinal sign that's ahead of you. And this is going to be the fourth house of home and family. So this could, I don't want to say rock the home front, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, um, I think that the people that might experience the most out of this are people who have been sticking their heads in the sand. Um, and that's kind of what this can be too, where, um, Maybe in the past you didn't want to know something and then you kind of have become more and more receptive, but it's possible that the person is not divulging everything to you for whatever reason. Um, in the past position, we have the page of wands and this can be an affair um, or like a, uh, pages are similar to aces where it is like something fresh and new or in the infancy stages with ones. If it's re related to relationships, it sometimes can be, um, like an affair, hot and heavy type of a situation. In other words, you know, like for instance, I did get the Ace of Pentacles and that can be the beginning if it's a relationship issue of something that's very stable, um, something that has the possibility for perm permanence versus the fire of the wands, which can be very like burn very bright, but be quite brief in its um, expression in its, uh, you know, how long it lasts. So, um, that may be one of the things that is happening is that you just, um, got involved with somebody. It's the very early stages, but you feel like they're not being, um, open with you and things like that. Um, the page of wands can be news, but this is good news that comes to you. 
um, with the high priestess, it allows you to receive the news from a higher state of consciousness. The high priestess can be being in touch with your higher self, um, being in a state of meditation. So if you receive news or if you are working on something, that can be another thing with the, um, page of wands that has a, um, kind of a, a, a flavor of a spiritual practice. I mean, when I say practice, I should say like a spiritual business. Um, that might be what you are getting involved in. And the thing is, is that the higher message for some of you is the Ten of um, Swords in terms of betrayal. And that can be those people that suspect that there's something going on and you don't know what it is, but you can just chalk it up to betrayal. That somebody is doing what you suspected or you feared that they were doing. You might not know all the details. You might never find out the whole truth, but you can just chalk it up to that. And that's what the spiritual message would be. And the reason it would be in that position of the spiritual message is because some people use the fact of, oh, well, I don't know what exactly is going on as kind of a, um, a way to, I, I wouldn't say buy time, but just kind of keep themselves involved in that situation. One of the things that you can say to yourself, to reason with yourself, is to say, you know, if I can't trust this person, then I can't, um, then how can I have a relationship with him or her? If I can't trust them, then it's really, you know, I'm in a bad place with this person because I'm always going to be um, questioning whether and whether or not what they're telling me is um, the, 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 the whole and complete truth. And that can, you know, after a while, it can really make you feel uh, drained, uh, especially if you sense that this person is up to no good. <laughs> um, but for other people, this card, if you, let's say you are starting some kind of a spiritual business or um, you're working, you're going to be working for somebody in this line of work. Um, the Ten of Swords can be your troubles are over or th that this cycle that you've been in is um, coming to an end. Maybe you've been unemployed for a long time or more likely that you have been working in, a, in an industry that is not uh, conducive uh, to your spiritual needs at this time. Remember that Pluto has been going through Capricorn for 10 years. No, 12 years. So this has um, likely transformed a lot of Capricorns within this decade and then some. The number 10 is the number of um, the end of a particular cycle. And so... With, with swords, it can be strife, and so it could be the end of strife. And it's in the upright position, so that can make it more possible that it's that. Well, crosses use a temperance uh, card, and um, one thing I would say first and foremost is just like drinking or any kind of substance abuse, if you are involved in that, then that's going to delay your spiritual progress. But also if you are, you know, you find that you have a history of relationships where that the other person is doing that, then this is something that you have to really take seriously, that this is going to cause the very thing that you don't want because, um, it, uh, it, what it does is it attracts people to you that are deceptive. Um, a lot of people who have addictions um, lie about them because they are ashamed, because they don't want to stop, and they but they want to be with the person. 
Now look at the angel. One foot in the water, one foot on land. This is about the balance between the spiritual and the material. You are an earth sign, um, Capricorn. So the earth element is very connected to, um, you know, matter. And um, this is something that you may hear me say that and say, well, duh, of course I am. Of course I'm connected to matter. We live on earth. I don't live in heaven. I don't live in this other world or this imaginary world even. And what I would say to you is um, the life of the spirit doesn't mean that you have to become ungrounded. And this is the problem that develops a lot of times. Um, this a couple of signs after you is Pisces, and Pisces is what I would call a sign of the spirit. And it represents, it's a water sign, so it represents, you know, the water element. Um, and that represents spiritual matters. So um, the contrast between Pisces and Cancer uh, and Capricorn is quite um, stark. And, and yet, if somebody is too... Um, immersed in the physical, they're not going to have uh, the ability to see beyond their own um, circumstances. And even envisioning a different um, phase in life can be difficult for somebody like that. For someone who is too involved in spiritual matters they can be become ungrounded and then it makes it very hard for them to even take care of themselves on the physical level because they they can't um, um, sustain themselves physically they might be always having money problems or um, maybe they don't uh, they don't they forget to eat or they just let their their um their practical lives the details of their of their um worldly um obligations go to hell and then they suffer for it it's very hard to do a spiritual practice if you're hungry if you're um unsure about where you're going to lay down your head or where you're going to get your next meal so there has to be that um, balance, but Capricorn may take it too much in the material sense. So the fact that I got the High Priestess, and that was the second card that I drew Capricorn, is very significant. I mean, it wasn't the second card that I drew, but that it's connected to that as the challenge card. Um, just think about that. if if that is something that you tend to struggle with, if, if you tend to, to see it in a very binary way, like, oh, I, you know, I don't have, I have a job. I can't be sitting here meditating all day and you kind of brush it off or um, act like it's not an important uh, thing to take care of. And it is. What is coming in is the Queen of Cups. Oh, you know what? I didn't even realize I got this card too. This is so spiritual for you, um, Capricorn. And actually, when we get into Sagittarius season in late November, um, you're going to have that, you're going to have that, those planets transiting that 12th house. And that's going to be like the High Priestess. The Queen of Cups is connected to Cancer, but it's um, an energy that is about psychic matters, spiritual, creative. So, and also motherhood. So, um, in terms of the, the spiritual angle, it's really like giving a yet another um, confirmation that this may be about um, if you've been kind of kicking around some, even like your own business, and perhaps you haven't gotten it formulated yet, but it's something that you've been wanting, this is the outcome card. 
the Ace of Pentacles. Look at the portal. And there's that Pentacles to say that this is a new job or a new business. So if you've been um, searching for guidance about whether or not you should take a certain job, uh, if you've heard of the Page of Wands, there's a good news that you've heard about some kind of spiritual thing and you've you've really felt a sense of um not being sure then this may be a good omen for that but in any case i hope that you resonated with it if you would like a private reading the link is below take care bye